Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Holy hell, right? Oh my right? I ain't gonna wait. This is like a day after I played episode four. I'm going straight into this. Episode five, Life is Strange. Last episode. Can't wait to find out what happens next. I mean, jeez. Let's see. Come on. I'm waiting. Ah. Oh, yeah, it looks like we're in that place again. Got the lighting set up with that weird umbrella looking thing. Getting a little fuzzy, getting the bruises. Yes. Got the lighting and the camera set up, everything. Square Enix. It's registered trademark. And where's that a-hole, Jefferson? I knew it would be you. I just knew it. Got the camera set up. Where's that Vaseline? And books. There's his jacket. And a tripod. I want to hit him over the head with it. And there is me, I think. I'm cold. Don't nod entertainment. Brings to you Life is Strange, episode 5. Whatever that's going to be called. Camera setup. Creepy. And weird. And we're in a very well lit room. Life is strange, there it is. Polarized. Could barely see that. And Chloe's dead. I wonder if I can rewind that far back. Well, I did uh, that one time. Who knows? Well, we'll find out soon. Max needs to wake up. Wake up, Max. Wake up. Do I move? I move. Oh. Chloe? What? As soon as it's well lit. Can't move. You right? Nope. Is anybody out there? Please help! Uh, detach. Uh. <clears throat> help! Somebody help me! God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh, okay. she, she doesn't remember? This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Come on. I hate 
hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Well, she remembers that part, at least. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Will it work? Hmm. Uh, focus, focus. Ooh. Can't seem to focus on it. Uh huh. Oh, that's great. Is that it? Yes. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Christ, look at that perfect face. Creepy. Creepazoid. Hold that stare there! Stay still! <sighs> oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the oh. shot. And I like the lights again. Hmm. Have to 
changed a few things at least. Oh Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. But more photos. Oh. Well, nice to see Victoria's again, but not. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Really? Okay then. Whoa. All right. I'm definitely more awake in I thought, this photo. I uh, thought looking at it would I work. I could try this one. <laughs> but, uh, focus. Ah, there we go. Might work. Please work. Here we go again. Uh, this way, though. There, there we are. Away I go. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh, <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Um, <laughs> You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Um, hmm. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual 
possibilities. We had a real connection. Uh... Did you know she also had a connection with Frank? Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Anyway, Rachel is dead. <laughs>